So here are Nancy and I going down the hallway, locating our stateroom on the Disney Wish. Wait a minute. How did we get here? Yeah, let's, let's rewind and let's go back in time to see how we got here using Disney Cruise Line's transportation from the Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Welcome to Nancy and Dan Travel. I am Nancy. When it comes to travel, Dan and I focus on relaxing and memorable vacations for adults and multi-generational families. We publish weekly videos mainly showcasing adult vacations to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and cruising. As you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us on our relaxing travel adventures. Dan and I recently completed a four-night cruise on the Disney Wish from Port Canaveral, Florida to Nassau, Bahamas, and Castaway Key. We took advantage of Disney Cruise Line's motor coach transportation from our hotel to and from Port Canaveral. The transportation is an additional cost and needs to be arranged ahead of time with Disney Cruise Line. It is offered from the Orlando Airport and all Walt Disney World Resort hotels. The service is only available for Disney cruises departing from Port Canaveral. This service provides a seamless travel experience as you will see during this video. We started our vacation by staying a couple of days at Disney's Grand Floridian Hotel prior to our cruise. The night before our cruise was departing, we received a letter in our hotel room with Disney Cruise Line transportation instructions. The letter provided instructions for checked luggage pickup and the time to be in the lobby for checking in with the Cruise Line representative. Our luggage was to be ready to be picked up at 7 a.m. with Disney Cruise Line luggage tags attached. The luggage tags are mailed to your home address within 30 days of departure of your cruise. Your luggage will be delivered to the port separately, so it is important to have a carry-on bag with personal ID, medication, sunscreen, swimwear, and anything else you may feel is important because you will not have access to your checked luggage until at least 2 p.m. or even later. We needed to be in the lobby by 8.30 for a 9 a.m. departure. The Disney Cruise Line representative was easy to spot and check-in was quick. She stayed with our group until we boarded the motor coach. <laughs> On behalf of Disney Cruise Line and your resort uh, crew here, welcome aboard. Deacon's going to be taking you over to Port Canaveral where you're going to be meeting the ship. It's going to be no more than 90 minute drive over. It really depends on the traffic. During that time frame, we'll have a video showing for your enjoyment or you can just sit back, relax, and take a little nap before you get on board and have lunch. Make sure you have your uh, Navigator app loaded up on your cell phone. That's going to tell you all the good stuff going on board the ship, when, where, and what. Also make sure you have your uh, boarding documents and your passports ready for your check-in at the, at the cruise terminal. Other than that, have a great cruise. Bye-bye. Bye. The pickup time will vary based on which location you are being picked up at. It is worth noting that your port arrival time is predetermined by the Disney Cruise Line and is very likely to be much earlier than what you would have been assigned unless you had platinum, pearl, or concierge status. Once we boarded the bus, there was another representative who provided detailed instructions on what to expect once we arrived at the port.
At the port, after getting off the bus, there was another representative that guided us into the Disney Cruise Line building. And from there, you were directed to the appropriate line for checking in, which is based on your Disney Cruise Line status. The check-in process was easy, provided you had your passport ready. Once up the escalator in the Disney Cruise Port building, you have a large seating area and restrooms. It is a place to relax while you wait for your boarding group to be called. We waited about 30 minutes for our group to be called. Once your boarding group is called, you head across the walkway to the ship and a cast member asks your name and then announces your arrival as you enter the Grand Hall and shed some tears. Nancy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are two more videos of our travel adventures to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And lastly, my email is in the description below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.